Hello, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy between you and the person that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. For Gemini, we have getting to know each other. As you reveal your old selves to each other, your bond deepens, and then we also have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. So far, so good, Gemini. You could be connecting with a Cancer, possibly a Capricorn. Doesn't necessarily have to be the case, though, but we'll see why you're getting these two cards and how it resonates with your reading for today. But we're going to focus on you first, and then we're going to jump over to them. Still keep in mind, you might resonate more so with the person to the right of me than you do with the person to the left of me. And that's okay. Just kind of pick and choose who you resonate more so with. How does Gemini currently view this relationship? We have the Ace of Cups. We also have the Tower. And then we also have the Page of Cups. Could be dealing with Pisces, possibly a Scorpio. How does this person currently view this relationship? All right. We have Temperance. We also have the Four of Swords. And then we also have the Death card. The bottom of the deck, we do have the Ten of Pentacles, all right? And then we have the Magician, and we also have the Hierophant with the Ten of Swords. Okay. Um, hmm. I'm going to start off with you first, and then we'll jump over to them. Now, in regards to how you're currently viewing this relationship, it kind of looks like, for the most part, um, Gemini, there's somebody here that you currently find yourself connecting with. And whoever this person is, is somebody that you're starting to grow a lot of feelings for, actually, surprisingly enough. I kind of feel like this person and this connection is really going to take you by surprise. Because like I said, I mean, this is somebody that you're starting to grow a lot of emotions for. This is somebody that you mesh very, very well with. This is somebody that you also get along with very well as well. But Surprisingly enough, as I mentioned, you're starting to grow a lot of emotions for this person in particular. Now, if it's one thing that I will say is this, Gemini, this is somebody that you need to be extremely patient with. This is somebody who has recently experienced an ending here between them and another person, and it kind of looks like they're still trying to recover from that ending that they recently experienced between them and another person. So... With that being said, Gemini, this is going to be somebody that you're going to have to be extremely patient and understanding with. Now, if it's one thing that I will say is this. I really do like the person that you currently find yourself connecting with. I mean, based off of, you know, this person's past relationship, I kind of feel like this is somebody that was very devoted and very committed to whoever it is that they were basically involved with. This is somebody who honestly really tried to make this relationship work here between them and whoever it is that they were once upon a time connecting with so the fact that unfortunately it didn't work out um, between them and whoever it is that they were once upon a time connecting with they're still kind of hurt over it to be completely honest I mean can you imagine like you know being fully committed and devoted to a person willing to do whatever for that person and then boom it just doesn't work out in the end I mean that is like an ultimate slap in the face okay and I kind of feel like this person still is trying to kind of recover from that now it does not mean that this person wants to go back to someone from their past it doesn't mean Mean that at all it just means that this is somebody who's not going to <clears throat> excuse me this is not going to be somebody who's going to let you in um rather easily i don't see that actually happening this is somebody who if anything is going to open up to you very very slowly okay so just be mindful of that um i'm actually going to pick up temperance and the four of swords and the death card all over again and then i'm going to pull again just to kind of get a rough idea of how this person is basically um viewing you because i feel like this is more so talking about this person's past and the type of individual that they were with whoever it is that they were once upon a time involved with so let's pull again <clears throat> How does this person currently view this relationship with Gemini? We have, like I said, this is going to be somebody who's going to let you in very, very slowly. I mean, they're showing up as a page of pentacles for crying out loud. This is somebody who's going to open up to you very, very slowly. This is somebody that you have to be extremely patient with, all right? This is not somebody who's going to basically rush things with you either. They might feel extremely tempted, right, with the Knight of Wands to rush things with you, but I kind of see this person 
choosing to kind of tame themselves when it comes down to you in this whole entire situation here between you and them. The two of you can be around the same age, but this is somebody who really does want to get to know you. They do. They really do want to get to know you and take their time just to kind of see, you know, where life can possibly take the both of you. But this is somebody who, you know, just doesn't want to get hurt and disappointed again. This is not somebody who wants to, you know, invest their all into another person. So in the end, it just doesn't work out. Like they don't want to experience that feeling again. But all in all, really good person. How does Gemini feel? And I feel like for the most part, Gemini, the more that you get to know this person, the more you're going to really start to like this person because you're going to start to see how genuine and sincere of a person they actually are, okay? Um, so with that being said, I kind of feel like for the most part, this person might even bring up, you know, whatever happened here between them and whoever it is that they were once upon a time involved with to your attention. They might just do that. I see actually a lot of them um, being very open when it comes down to... You know, how things didn't basically work out between them and whoever it is that they were once upon a time involved with. Um, one thing that I do love about this person, which is very rare to basically see within people, um, is that they're not talking trash whatsoever about whoever it is that they were once upon a time involved with. So I don't feel like they're going to really go into depth with you when it comes down to why this relationship actually really came to an end. Um, I just kind of see this person for the most part being that type of person, you know, to kind of keep it very short and very vague. Um, this is not somebody who's going to sit here and talk shit about their ex whatsoever. I kind of feel like, you know, this is somebody who really did care deeply um, for their ex. Um, but unfortunately, as I mentioned, it just didn't work out between these two people for whatever reason. I don't necessarily feel like this person did anything wrong. I don't feel like this person, you know, betrayed or deceived the person that they were with whatsoever. But I kind of feel like, again, the more you get to know this person, the more you're going to start to feel like you're dealing with somebody who has a beautiful heart. It's one thing that I will say about this person in particular, which I do like. I like this person. I'm going to be honest. I like this person. How does this person feel? Okay. We have the Three of Cups. We got the Ten of Wands. And then we also have the Devil. Okay. I mean, it's understandable, but... In regards to how this person's currently feeling about this relationship with you, this is going to be somebody who's going to basically try their hardest to not compare you to what they were once upon a time dealing with in the past, okay? Now, it's interesting that that's basically kind of what came up for this person is that they're still in the process of getting over whatever happened here between them and somebody that they were once upon a time um, more than likely in a committed relationship with. For some, this person could have even been married to this person or even lived with this person at one point. Doesn't necessarily have to be the case though but um i still kind of see this person's past kind of haunting them within this dynamic that they share with you and you're going to really start to see that okay gemini you're going to really start to see how truly affected uh this person was by you know whoever it is that they were once upon a time connecting with it is going to come up to the surface unfortunately Again, just try to be extremely patient and understanding. I love the person that you're connecting with. Granted, you know, do they have their stuff that they have to deal with? Absolutely. I mean, who doesn't? You know, we all have our shit. I always say that. We all have our shit. Nobody in this life is perfect. Um, but I kind of feel like, you know, for the most part, they are trying their hardest to not... To not project their past experiences onto you in this relationship that they share with you. So for a perfect example, let's say that the person that they were with basically cheated on them. Like, you know, they might get extremely triggered within this relationship with you um, because, you know, the last person that they were with basically cheated on them. So they might... It might slip out. I'm going to be honest. It might slip out. They might, you know, accuse you of possibly talking to other people. So you might start to really see that side. Um to this person in particular, but I kind of feel like for the most part, you're dealing with a really, really good person. They're not perfect, but then again, nobody is. Let's be honest. Nobody is. What actions? We have the Six of Swords. We have the Three of Swords. And then we have the Hermit. Okay. Um, the 
that's something that I want to talk to you about, actually. Because um, I'm not, I don't really agree with how you're moving forward, but that's something I do want to discuss with you. But let me, let me, let me, let me look at this person. Okay. We have the Five of Swords. We got the moon, and then we also have the king of wands. As I mentioned, it's going to slip out, okay? It's going to slip out. It's just going to happen, okay? You're dealing with somebody who has major trust issues, okay? And they are going to, unfortunately, project whatever it is that they've experienced with somebody prior to you onto you, okay? Try not to take it personal. It doesn't have anything to do with you specifically. This is kind of like a them versus them problem, to be completely honest, but it's going to slip out. You're going to see that whole other side to this person, that very, um, and this person might even be a little bit possessive. I am kind of getting that. They might be a little bit possessive or even extremely territorial. So, you know, you might be dealing with somebody who's like that for some, you know, you might like that for others of you, you may not. It really does kind of all boil down to the type of individual that you are and the stuff that you like and into, but um, it is going to slip out, unfortunately. It is, Gemini. It is. Um, here's what I want to talk to you about, though, Gemini. With the Six of Swords and the Three of Swords and the Hermit being out here, this is kind of making me feel like you're under the impression that this person's not over um, whoever it is that they were once upon a time connecting with. Now, here's the thing. They're not over what happened here, okay? You have to understand that, you know, especially if this person's being open with you and telling you like, yo, listen, like my last situation was like this, that, and the third. You know, I wouldn't hold that against them, to be completely honest, nor would I jump to this conclusion that, you know, they want to still be with someone from their past. You know, the fact that this person is opening up to you about a really painful experience that they experienced with someone, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't hold that, you know, against them whatsoever. Uh, this is somebody who clearly feels comfortable enough with you to talk to you about those things. You know what I mean? Um, and I was getting that strongly. I don't feel like this is that type of individual that's going to trash talk their ex. They're just not going to do it. And that might cause you to feel like, mm, I don't know, like, does that mean that like they still like like they still want to be with their ex? No, I don't feel that they want to be with their ex uh, whatsoever. I kind of feel like they just want to move on with their life and not feel like their past is still having a hold on them. You know what I mean? Um, so just be mindful of that, Gemini, moving forward. Don't jump to this conclusion that, oh, you know, this person, you know, must really want to be with their ex still. And it's like, no, I don't feel like that's the case whatsoever. Um, I don't. I just kind of feel like this is somebody who feels extremely comfortable enough with you to let you in in that way. And this is that type of individual that doesn't let people in that easily. So the fact that they're letting you in is kind of telling me that they're very, very interested into, you know, when it comes down to see, you know, where this relationship can possibly go here between you and them. So... It's just a little bit of a heads up, okay, Gemini? Don't take what this person says um, about, you know, anybody from their past and just jump to this conclusion that, oh, they must want to be with their ex, you know? No, I don't feel like that's the case at all. But like I said, you're going to start to really see this very possessive territorial um, side to this person very, very soon. Um, but it is coming from, you know, a place of them wanting to avoid something um and that could be you know you cheating on them you know things of that nature so you're gonna really start to see that side to them very very soon okay because this is somebody who could be very territorial uh very possessive especially when it comes down to somebody that they really really do like and it, if you're dealing with somebody who got cheated on um mm, yeah you're going to definitely see that side to them uh, probably a lot sooner than later. But other than that, um, I like this person. I feel like they're a genuinely, you know, good person. I just feel like, unfortunately, they've experienced a really bad experience with someone. And it still kind of, you know, it still messes with them. But that doesn't mean, you know, that they still want to be with their ex or anything like that. All right. 
So we have separation, which represents the four swords in tarot, which basically represents healing. Understand that you're dealing with somebody who's still in the process of healing, but also understand that this is somebody who's clearly talking to you because they're interested in you, because they want to build upon a relationship with you, not with anybody from their past. All right, Gemini? So other than that, the relationship in itself, it looks good. It looks like it has a lot of potential, but um, you will start to see this person's possessive nature um, a lot sooner than later, especially because this is somebody who's going to really, really like you. So with that being said, you're going to start to see that uh, very, very soon. All right, Gemini. Um, but other than that, I mean, it looks good. It looks good. It looks good. It does. It does. So hopefully this reading resonates with you. Hopefully it brings you some clarity in regards to whoever it is that you're connecting with or will be connecting with. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.